son of a grumble stink, mate. We're off to stinking Cashies again. And, mate, I'm visiting some Cashies I haven't been to before. Like Port Adelaide, mate. For oh, they got a big glass display out the front. Apparently it was full of musical instruments, but they keep selling them all. And then on the inside, a wetsuit lady. What a charming store display. I'm already having fun. I mean, th this is very Port Adelaide. Like the big, like one and a half liter, like they're not stains, they're like cups. I mean, get alcohol poisoning for your favorite footy team. And a, court, a Port Adelaide, mate, they're gonna have the boxing gloves, right? That's how you get your line in at the Maccas. Mate, this is called a Pranetti snack sensation. And like, you, you lift it up, but it, it's just an oval and I don't get it. Oh, this Wish, Timu, bought off TV crap. It filters down into cashies. Stop buying it, don't hand it to cashies. No one needs this crap. Poor mate, fully sick. I'm gonna do a kickflip, but I can't, but I'll, I'll slip and break my wrist for you though. Did you know, mate, if you take this out into the open ocean and paddle as hard as possible, you'll die sooner. AFL Uno cards, Frio Dockers, and, and they're all Frio Dockers. What's happened to the Dockers? Oh, the old mate clubs that no one's gonna buy section. No one's ever gonna touch these. I'll smell in eight months, but a miracle, mate. They actually have high-end, cutting-edge clubs, but joke's on you, mate. They're left-handed. That's why they're here and no one's bought them. <laughs> I thought this was some sort of vertical picnic table, but it's a satellite dish. But I mean, it could be a vertical picnic table if you like. I don't know what this is. It's got too many strings. Too many strings. Normal guitars have too many strings. It has too many strings. Go, Windows, go. That's it, Windows. Keep showing us why you're actually worth throwing any sort of attention at. I don't have a license to drive these, mate, so I'm not allowed to have them. Well, a cash register, I could actually be a legitimate business. They have a Frank dungeon here. It's a small Frank dungeon, but that's a Frank dungeon. You could have a Frank. And all this battle axe. <laughs> and, like, these speakers are totally cheap and whatnot, but they actually do look pretty sick. They're fun, mate. I dig it. Boom! Boxes. I mean, the money that they're worth, um, for, that's what they're worth nowadays, but those are proper boom boxes. I'm excited. They're selling a pole. That's just a bollard. That You can buy a bollard, and if that's not enough for you, you can buy the fancy bollard, which has Cleopatra's telephone on top of it. What is this? I mean, I know Cleopatra knew Caesar. I mean, they had money. D did she have a phone? I don't know. I mean, I mean, come and get it. Well, if you like your Jack Daniels, mate, you can dispense it endlessly, and just the empty bottle is quite telling. Wind turbines. Well, I'm used to solar panels, but wind turbines? I mean, that's really neat. I wish I did live in a windy area to use this. Look, mate, she's a Yoda made out of Yodas. I, why didn't I get this? I want this. We mate, like, the certificate doesn't say if these are, like, dishwasher safe or nothing, so I don't know if I can use these for cereal in the morning. Grass on the tradie tool section, that's a nice touch. It's like I'm actually there. Now, this is a hardcore sim racing setup for a hardcore sim racing game. And on every Cashy's adventure, mate, you're bound to run into an accordion. I don't know why, but you're gonna run into an accordion. But, mate, my favorite Cashy's experience I'm in is their online store. I use this constantly. Most of my symbols my drum thing come from here, mate. Like, it's fun just to sort by newest listed and just see what people are handing in. They do Ozpost, mate. They don't do Couriers. That's so good. Mate, there's like a brand new Crown and Andrews Cricket Board Game 2022 Edition Green. And this is like the last holdout for the ultra nuggety MP3 players. If you want to sample the Nug of Nugs, then Cashy's online store is where you need to go. Ah, the sights and smells of Cashy's. I stink and love that place. We're gonna talk more about it a bit. What did I actually Buy. I had to get the Yamaha Electone Organ Course Family Fun Box. It says fun on it. Why would they lie? 29 bucks. Like, I thought this would be an accessory, you know, for an organ, you know, which it would be. You know, these people with the chrome hair. This is actually <laughs> uh, how to play a freaking organ. Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. So yeah, look, I can actually learn songs, which I probably won't, but I could, and knowing that I could is enough. We, uh, look at these $10 speakers I found. Desktop speakers, hey? Like, this is your gaming rig right here. Jeez, lounge room speakers even. Oh, they're brand new. Ooh, why USB? Why USB as well? These actually need, like, external power as well. That's pathetic. Well, honestly, the only reason why I got these is that the Maraca Cracker hasn't had a feed in a little while. <laughs> um, hi under the table is an amplifier designed for supermarkets like all the speakers in a supermarket but then this rig here channels them all into a single output and basically all the power of a food land like and that's a lot of power all right it's, it's got fire going kind of sound okay maybe five bucks given how crap they're built but oh Oh dear, what's wrong? Uh-oh, I think I wired this up backwards. Oh no, 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 it's, it's kind of, oh dear. Okay, 
I blow up the headphone jack of my precious iPod, which I need for my drum strings. Oh, maraca cracker. And uh, now the maraca cracker smells bad. I want to blow these up, not the maraca cracker of my iPod. Oh, this cashy special's not going well. I'm gonna have to save these for another day when the maraca cracker works again. And my iPod. Uh, so I, I desperately needed to fix this iPod for my drum streams. <laughs> and yeah, ker-chow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the headphone dingus. I've got a replacement dingus here, and as you can see, the replacement one has no pooey skid mark. <laughs> uh, no, nah, still no output. There's there's something incredibly wrong. It's down on the healing bench of foreverness. Oh, and that's how forever it can be. Boy, so it's this, mate. Look, it's a little 1080p ViewSonic. Right, that's, that's, that's a proper brand that is, mate. 39 bucks. She's a little dirty, mate, but it's like totally a thing, isn't it? Uh, no HDMI, only a DVI and a the sub. <laughs> what? But I mean, it did come VJ cable. That is fun. DVI cable. Mmm. And. DVI to display port. So, you know, you can hook it up with stuff. That's a really good dongle. But my big test also found one of these. You know, I'm into old consoles and whatnot. Anything that converts video to something else, very handy. Hey, mate, they have VGA cables, need to add. We've got the Dreamcast back, right? Special McAdapter, right? Converts to HDMI into the converter box, then VGA out into the view Sonic. 1080, I don't think we're getting 1080 out of VGA, but I don't care. It's very dim. But it's there! I'm gonna play Tony Bork's Poop Shooter 2. That's right, Dreamcast. Make it the Dreamcast noises. <laughs> oh, there's so many adapters. <laughs> I reckon with one less adapter, this would be even better. But mate, if I was in the back shed and this is all I had to, to like play me Dreamcast with, I'd be stoked. This is totally fine. <laughs> this is great. Like well, 39 bucks. Oh. Vintage game stuff, mate. Cashies is all over that biscuit. Even got me a Game Boy Pocket. I've got to speak about the original Game Boy because, boy, it lit me up as a kid. First Game Boy I tried was actually one of these. My current copy of Pokemon Blue came from Cashies. Whoa. Eee. This is back when you had to sit on the surface of the sun just to be able to see the screen. <laughs> to barely see anything. This is how it was. This is how it's meant to be. This is my amazing save game, right? Where I finished the entire game with, with one Pokemon. Ignore Craig there. But yeah, Bork Lord the Charizard. I basically beat the entire game with this one idiot. It was so much fun to do. And uh, I made a whole video about it. I documented the whole thing. You can smell that later. Even more fun, I found a Game Boy camera. On these a printer and I'll be set. Yeah, this, this game's a vibe. <laughs> it's something else. It's got this like stop motion animation or something. Ugh. <laughs> That's right, there's weird faces and all this. Oh yeah, and this is the camera. Try to take a photo, but it's all full of friggin' photos already. <laughs> yeah, basically all the slots have been used up by just like the face of one kid. One kid's taken all the photos. That's the photo of a TV with someone surfing on. No, it's a motorbike. Amazing, thank you, child of the past. Or if you think the original Game Boy's a total chonk, I might check out the Atari Lynx. <laughs> and like, yeah, getting games, pay them the bum. I hate buying stuff online, it sucks. But Cashy's online store is just mm, I can actually get these games from the comfort of my own toilet break. Um uh, where does, um... Oh, goodness. Wait, six double A's? Yeah, these are the bad old days. <laughs> Mum and Dad were complaining about fuel prices, and I was complaining about battery prices. Oh! Oh, uh, ew! Ew, there's something in it! Switchblade! It's free to me, I'll take it! I wanna play Batman. Oh, you could- Oh, no! Oh, no, there it is! Oh, <laughs> okay! All right! Look at this! Dual A and B buttons in case you wanna play it like this! <laughs> That's catchy, hear that on Spotify later. This D-pad be looking really lonely. This nugget needs its own video as well, but I'd love to try the Batman. Oh! <laughs> I mean, it's in color with a backlight. This was insane in the day. Uh, and very expensive and doesn't mean that the games are going to be better actually. And the battery usage is insane. And um, yeah. Atari Lynx. I mean, is my free-to-me game work. Oh, kind of reminds me of Shinobi. I'm dying of fire. So you know all those boomboxes I was sitting there? 
I had to have them. Oh, mate. First up is this beauty. Whoa! Mate, she's a sharp goof 800. Oh, mate, she's got a clock and everything. Mate, this is like a proper boombox. It's like mid 80s or something. Like, yeah, I, I knew she was proper deal, mate, because look, it couldn't do metal tapes. And that's not like metal is in the genre, but metal is in, in the tape. I mean, Techno's basically got the best cassette video in the world out there. And you know, type one is like basic whatever tapes, but metal tapes are literally a higher quality tape that sounds better. Like cassettes can sound amazing. These are the cheap ones. Mate, she's got the EQ straight up, you know, so you can scoop those mids like everyone likes to do. And these speakers actually detach and you can have them like, you know, set up satellite style. Uh, the mount on the, the that one's bad. Hey, good on your cashy, so because they said like like if it doesn't work properly that I can take it back to them and they'll send it off to get repaired. Oh, that's good. Yeah, mate, she's got radio and recording. So yeah, like you can just record the radio. You record anything. It's just got straight inputs. And I use this to make a Scarlify mixtape. But mate, this isn't the only boombox I got. I had to get this one too. This is my childhood. Like every classroom had one of these in it. God, a pair, pair of blasters. Dual cassettes on top, mate. That's what you want. Record, mate. She's all there. These buttons feel great, actually. Like, yeah. <laughs> Stinking power blaster button. Yeah, it, it it just scoops the mids. It boosts the bass in the top end and just beats on. It don't here. Yeah, don't don't turn that off. But even better. It's a CD player, so you can put the stunning Avishai Cohen trios gently disturbed. Oh, it's like the best jazz album ever. And look, I love this. <laughs> There's a light in there. That's so fun. I, everything's copyrighted, everything's copyrighted, everything's copyrighted. But yeah, I love this mechanism. It's neat. Well, uh, it's time to have a listen to these nuggets, mate. And we've got to compare them against the sexy speaker. It's like a three-year-old speaker that came with my phone. Power on, Bluetooth mode. Why is the voice so sexy? <laughs> So yeah, as you can hear, mate, uh, this one plays a little bit too quick, and um, that's the fun and magic of cassettes. <laughs> this is like, yeah, they, they can get a little bit out of whack, mate, but that but that's all right. I got interested in the twin decks of this one, so I decided to like play out of each one. Uh, like sound-wise, they're like super, super close, but um, yeah, one of them's playing a little bit slower than the other. So a little bit special for you. I've done a special edit, having both of these play at the same time, right? We're gonna listen for a little bit, and it's slowly drifts apart and becomes the most surreal version of this song that I've ever heard. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh-oh. Uh, is, is it? Uh-oh. <gasps> you monster! It actually did quite a bit of damage. Oh my goodness. Yo, that big one actually still sounds pretty stinking good. And actually, when I walked into that Cashies, uh, they were playing music out of it. Yeah, we're listening to music in the store and had no idea it was coming from one of these boom boxes. I honestly prefer like these pill speakers or whatever, like how much smaller this is and how much easier it is to use. And I mean, no radio out of this though. But yeah, it's amazing how tiny speakers would be and still sound pretty good. But hey, love the boom boxes. There were some really rare symbols and cashies as well, like two different stores. Actually, Port Adelaide had this like ancient 1960s crash. It still has crash stamped on it. Like no one kept the stamps on their symbols back in those days, mate. Like people wiped them off as soon as they bought them. Actually like a super cool heirloom, it's, it's super heckin' dirty. Not to mention that the new dank pods Mike have been using for a few weeks came from Cashies, mate. That's half price of what a new one of these suckers is worth. And I gotta give a shout out to this like 2008 MacBook, not MacBook Air or Pro, just MacBook in fugly faded white, mate, 49 bucks. I've had this for a couple years and it's been hanging out just fine. It syncs all the music to my iPod that goes into the drum stream and mate, She'll even watch YouTube, no worries, mate. Like, what a trooper. But well, oi, mate, from like the boom boxes to that like really nice little display to like the, the Game Boy stuff and um, good stink of Pokemon and bringing that as well. Greatest prize of all, the, the Yamaha Electone Organ Course Family Fun Box. I killed my iPod and my Maraca Cracker. And mate, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to like my floaties, mate. You know, there's like extra videos there and all that sort of stuff. You know, Frank's there as well. Speaking of Frank, you can still order a Frank plush in a hat. That's happening, you know, because once the pre-order's done, mate, she's done. And that's it, you know, no more, no more Velcro Frank hats. Hey, mate, I'll see you all next time. Who's a cutie, chunk and brunk, and na 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 as mentioned Frank. Cutie Frankie, Mrs. Frankie, don't take your head while I'm singing to you. Frankie, 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 I told you, I told you not to go that way, Frankie.